Yes, man. Yes, I'm, I know. I know that you got plenty. Of yeah. Let um, I me. Mean, sorry. So, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because um, we, we were just having a. No problem. A, a no, it's talk. okay. It's okay. But I guess from, from what I understand of scripture, it's the eternal Son became right. flesh, right? Which right. Is, which is the word. And so. The eternally it, begotten Son. When you when you when you say begotten, that that doesn't. Of course, that doesn't mean created, right? No, but he's no. eternally brought forth. Right, but he was always pre-existing, meaning he's, he's eternal, right? Right. In, right. in eternity, he was begotten. That's what it says. It does, but to be got, begotten, I guess, let's, let's. how would you define begotten? Uh, in regards to, like, being eternal, because we know that Christ and, needs and, to ever, be eternal. Ever since God was, that's when he was. Okay. So that's from the beginning, from but the he beginning. was still begotten. But not like not made. Jehovah, if not made. Right. Okay, right. This exactly. is all theological terms. So all yeah. we really got is scripture, and then we have theology. Absolutely. So what mm -hmm. what the Bible says is that he was with God in the beginning. All things were created by him and through him and for him. But we also see a, a, a unique relationship with the Father. So, I mean, and the, the way as well. Oh, right, right, Which, right, 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 right. So. Everybody's trying to box God into their mold. Uh, tr Trinity, oneness, Arianism. They're all trying to put God into an explain God. And all we have is the scripture, and we just got to stick with scripture. We know that Jesus is God. We know that the Father is God. We know the Holy Spirit is God. How right. do we know that? Right. John chapter 1 says Jesus is God, mm -hmm. clearly. Clearly. It says that... Uh, David, so blessed to see you, man. For real. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get to come back. I got I got stuck somewhere. Did you guys got the Telegram group? Of course. Okay. I hope to see you. Maybe I'll be in uh, Montreal for the next like two weeks. So it, yeah, and, and there's so if you're on the Telegram group, you'll get to see like where we'll be and preaching. Okay. Okay. God bless you. Nice to meet you. If I don't see you anymore, I believe in God. We're gonna see us in another role. Amen. I hope to see you again, man. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Good, good, good. Yeah. By the way, I just want to say thank you for taking the time. Oh, I know it's no, no. Yeah, no, I do got to go get my wife sitting in the car all this Absolutely. time. Absolutely. So kind of forgot, but. Right. Okay. So we'll we'll wrap it up. But I think that was my main thing is that we know that that Jesus is God, right? And and I think that I guess that so was my what, main. So where thing. I was coming from yes. is this: is that I'm God coming from I'm coming from trying to explain something that. I think is not really touched on in the Christian community, but is understood from the Jewish and the Muslim community. Is And some theologians, if you go deep into their thoughts, is that God is transcendent beyond everything created. No one has seen, he's invisible, okay? Now, if you follow that train of thought, that means everything that we're in is created. Yeah. So that means that anything that God reveals about himself here is created. Yeah. It's creation. So what does that mean? It's, it's, it's like, it's like this. It's like, okay, this is, this is how I explained it. And I gave this example. If I'm God, okay. I'm clearly not in the phone, in the but, phone. You're out, you're outside but if I take a picture of myself, I have no clue why I did that. Okay. That's still me too. I, no, I, I understand. I now, understand the... that's created. Right. Well, the flesh was created. The, the, this the is created. Of, yes. The flesh of Jesus Christ. But this is not created at the same time. You know why it's not created? Because that's me. I understand when I was watching this that video, came forth from me mm -hmm. that is me mm -hmm. but that's in this realm do you think that by us um, not necessarily proclaiming that like Jesus because we know of course begotten the flesh was prepared for him but of course we know that he's existed from eternity past and as the Bible says the veil was his flesh that at times, what actually was the offense, well, not at times, what the offense of Christ was, was the fact that him being a man, as the Jews said, you make yourself equal with God, right? And so, if, if are we taking the sting off of that by not proclaiming uh, Christ to be not just Lord, but also God, not God the Father?
right? Because even with Christ, that was the offense. The offense was, how can you, being the no, son of Mary? No, I'm not taking away the. Well, in one no, way, I, in one way, I am taking away the sting, but in the second way, I, I'm, it's a buildup. I mean, right. the whole Bible is a buildup. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have Old Testament for a reason. It didn't reveal the fullness of who Jesus really was. And even in the Gospels, it was a buildup. They didn't even know who Jesus was until he res resurrected. Mm -hmm. And even in the explanation in the book of Acts, that was a buildup because we don't see the theology of the Apostle Paul fully in, in, in the book of Acts. Mm -hmm. Until later. So you're dealing with somebody that, I mean, how many, how, how's, how's the outreach to Muslims and Jews really going? Not that well. I don't, I don't care if people say, oh, so many Muslims are giving their life to the Lord. Who? Who? I mean, I've seen people, I've seen Muslims give, give their life to the Lord. Praise I just, Lord. actually, on that same video that you saw, a Muslim said, because of your video, I gave my life to the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, but what is it? Like, if you're going to explain something to a kid, you can't explain them as, as a university student. Right. You got to start with the simple. Simple things that we know. God is not creation. We are creation. That's simple. Logical. This, what you just saw, yes, yeah, a picture of me, but that's a created picture. Logical. Because I'm not in this phone. I don't live in this phone. God doesn't live in this phone. God is beyond creation, so he can't be in creation at the same time. But God is imminent at the same time. There's something about God that he does. How does God be imminent and, and still be not creation? That means that he has to do it through a means. What is the means? For me, I'm seeing it and explaining it. He does it through his son. Now, who is his son? We can see the son, but we can't see the father. So if no one has seen God, then that means there's something about the son that's not God, but there's something about the son that is God. So we understand through the incarnation, fully God, fully man. That's what we say. Right. So do we see the fully God? No, we don't. We see the fully man. We see the, we see the part that is creation. It's right. man. So. That's what every, every Muslim and Jew would see. He can't be God because he's a man. So introduce him to the man. Okay, fine, he's a man. So get to know this man. What are you gonna find out about this man? That this man is different from every other man. That's number one. This man is the image of everything that God said he would be. This man is something about this man that we can't fully place. He's exactly like God the Father in the flesh. Would it be important to So mention? that means oh, that, that this man must be the Word of God. This man must be the only begotten of the Father. This man must be God with us. You're going from it from divine to man. I'm going it from man to divine. That's the difference. Okay. And I think the apostles and Jesus and everybody went from man to divine, not divine to God. Divine to man. Okay. I, I, see, I see what you're saying. I guess from when I was watching it, because I'm only giving you like... I mean, praise the Lord that I'm... If I was preaching to Christians, I'd preach Christianese. Right. I'm not preaching to Christians. Okay, so that's what... I guess that was my... What I was trying to, to, to grasp. I was... Is he speaking this way because he's a Muslim to try to make him... I'm understand. not a Muslim. No, no. no not you. <laughs> the Muslim that you were talking to. Not you, of course. Um, that you were speaking to this young Muslim uh, in an attempt to try to make him understand that. Or... Because I was... I'll just tell you, I was like a little bit taken aback. And I guess... I don't want to make it seem as if like it's there's okay. only one way to preach Christ because th there is, but we, God uses us differently in the means and, and the intelligence and our experiences and how we use our words. Yeah. And I guess what I was hearing was, it was what I was hearing it was like, okay, it's dangerously close just from what I was understanding to um, like what the Jo I know that's not what you meant, but to what the Jehovah Witnesses would say in regards to his, he, he, he's not uh, 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 eternal. Right, he's 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 only man, and and, and even Jesus himself. I, I guess when we're preaching Christ, I'm glad that you said this because it's going to help me reflect. But I don't feel like we should stop by him saying when he says like I'm from above. I think it's important to mention that this man came from above, though. Right? Absolutely. Right. I think that that's important to mention, even to the sting of the Jew or the Muslim. That you know what, this man did not just come like every man. Is that this man was eternally the begotten Son of God who became right. man and I right. guess that was my thing it was like to be sure that Jesus pre exists I never oh no no no, no. Yeah. I was just feeling that uh, it's it, um, recently we were talking at church how a little leave-in right and, and sometimes um, Paul Washer said it well that in our attempt because the nature of God is so well that's, large, well, that's why I don't even 
like you like I like that you're a little even because when we talk certain language like that we can't explain like let's just say we say the word Trinity okay. how many Christians can explain that most Christians that I even hear try to explain that end up like polytheists it's actually tritheism that they talk. It's not, it's not biblical Trinitarianism. 99% of every Christian, if I go to them, I say, explain the Trinity. Won't be able to. I'm in, a, I'm in agreement. So, it doesn't mean so, it's not true. So a little leaving does yeah. leave in the whole batch. Right. And it puts a stum an unnecessary stumbling block to a Muslim or a Jew. When the Bible doesn't even say it like that. The Bible says it differently. Mm -hmm. The Bible emphasizes the Godhood of the Father and the Sonship of, of Jesus. It doesn't go too much in depth into some things the way we do it. We emphasize things on a different way than the Bible does. And that's the problem. What do you think those things are in regards well, to Well, it's just the way it's communicated. Like, I mean, the Bible clearly says Jesus is the Son of God. It says he's God, that throne of God. Hebrews chapter 1 says he's the Word of God. But every time Paul d uh, introduces God or Jesus, he says, but grace to you and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. He never says grace to you from God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He doesn't do that. And there's a reason why. Because Paul's theology and the way he understood... The way he understood things was... was I believe in a more in a more rational logical way that was understood that why many Jews received it no Jew today receives well not no Jew but most Jews don't receive things in the way we communicate it and most Muslims don't receive things in the way we communicate it but most Jews well a lot of Jews at the time of Jesus under, received it the way it was communicated then why because they emphasize the father of God. They never emphasize the Godness of Jesus, but they emphasize the Lordship of Jesus. And there's a difference there. You don't think, uh, I'm not saying Jesus wasn't God. No, what, what would you say the difference is between the It's God like that scripture says, the Lord said unto my Lord, so sit at my right hand. But right. that word, Adonai, is different from... The Elohim word that was used. In, no, in Adonai. No, it's there's two different words for Adonai. One is used for simple masters, yes. any master. So David was an Adonai, everybody was an Adonai. Yeah. And then there's one only used for Yahweh. Mm -hmm. But that verse in Psalms 110 was was not the one used for Yahweh. It was Yahweh said unto my Adonai, simple yeah, master, Adonai sorry, yeah. sit at my right hand till I make right. your enemy. So that means he was emphasizing the manhood lordship of Jesus. So to a Jew, they were waiting for a Messiah that was a man that would represent the Father. And Jesus clearly fit the bill. Mm -hmm. But there was more to this man that needed to be expounded that even the apostles and the disciples were building in Revelation to expound that. And that was that this man was the Word of God who was God in the flesh. And that's the expounding of something that is hard to explain on the surface to the logical mind. Right. How, like the way I explained it makes sense to me. It makes sense to every Muslim that I explain it this way understands, all of a sudden understands Jesus immediately. 